Spider Slayer, he was in chat, told him to come over. Have a seat. Ready? Yeah, quite the setup. That's awesome. Welcome. That was a great game. Nice uh, to see you. I can't say that it was a great game. Well, it, was, it, uh, was, it was an interesting was game. game. There's a lot of different things we saw there. What was, what was going on in your train of thought as how you were tackling these games? Well, the, uh, the first game I just went from my uh, standard play, which uh, I prefer to put on game into Ultralisk uh, in all the matchups. And uh, it's just my style. No investors, no nothing like that. That's just what I like. Um, it looked like in that third and second game you were really expecting the Void Rays to come out as you put down those score crawlers, which really helped you out against those DTs in a way. You kind of walked right past them. But. Well, even in the first game, um, the first game I saw a starport. I don't know if you noticed my overlord yep. over in the back. I saw a starport and I put down um, uh, score crawlers immediately after I saw that. But still, um, I don't see oracles very often. Um, and, and those, but I think that's the first game. And it worked. It worked out. The first game I shouldn't have lost. Just that first game, the oracles really caught you off guard because you sent that queen down to your down to your third base, and then that oracle yeah, swung just, in as your queen was, was off creep and yeah, couldn't get back. I was, I was completely out of focus that first game. Um, it was still close. Uh, that first game was. Uh, it was very back and forth. We kept calling it for one player or the other, and yeah, then yeah, <laughs> kept no. changing our minds. No. Um, the second game was was pretty easy. Um, after I saw the start start board, and he lost the oracle, was pretty quickly. Um, the one went down to red health, and, and we had to fly that off. Um, and then it was pretty easy. We went to go take a third, and I don't feel like he had the, the kind of the, the, the set. It wasn't it really wasn't to really survive a bunch of roaches, so killed him there. Um, and then that third game, the DT walked right by, but it didn't do much damage. And it's like, okay. The, the big turning point was, um, on that choke, on that map, I die often to that exact thing in my head. Um, and put my roaches there and they get force it off and they can kill nothing because the size of the buildings are there. So frustrating. He did um, go very heavy with those force fields and it seemed yes. to be a problem, although he didn't yes. exactly have the energy for the photon overcharge at the time, but he just kept kept picking away. He didn't he only had I think three or four stalkers at a couple times, but he just kept picking away at the small groups of your roaches and ended yes. up being able to it was it was enough. And what really hurt was the fact that my overload was out of position. Um, if you noticed in the game it was like in between the two and I did not see him have third. If if I had seen him a third, all those roaches go to his third and kill him. And then there's there's no way he comes back in that game. And I go I went to his third just just to scout it, and he already had it up and running and cannons and a thing there. And I had all those roaches that had just died. And I was like, wait, this game is probably over. And and sure enough. It was, it was over. Um, we saw you go really at the Mutas in the first game. What was your thought there, and how can we stuck away from that in the subsequent games? Um, well, the first game, uh, the first game I was able to do some damage. I stopped his production of Phoenixes, and, um, and uh, closed two gateways there, so I was fine with that. But then he started building up a huge amount of, um, of Void Rays, or of Phoenixes, and I was just like, well, there's no point in continuing unit production because he's just going to keep building these clearly, and so we'll just transition. I felt that, that was the time I had gained the advantage that I wanted, and I was able to transition into the um, into the unit counters that I like to end the game with, which is you know, like the Witch's Banes, the Roaches, and uh, Ultralisk. And that game was weird. I had a weird fight where his force fields caught my Banelings, and then my Ultralisk behind the Banelings. And I should have just like obliterated. Them. There were a couple storms there that killed, I think, almost every single yes. bane link. <laughs> and it was just like I was like, how did you get that? You know, and it was just like, oh no. And it was like perfect storms and perfect force fields in one of the game. It was well deserved. Yeah. Uh, in that, in that in so, the second game, he already had starport, so he had a starport, and I saw that, and I'm just like, well, get roaches and it's over. And then the last game, I didn't think his macro was good enough, and I think. And I, I thought that maybe he didn't think his macro was good enough, and I thought he would cheese, and sure enough, the DT showed up. And after DT showed up, and I was... Uh, At what point did you notice the DTs? Because we noticed you poked your overlord in a little bit, but didn't quite come far enough to see the Dark Shrine. Um, Is it when you attacked with your roaches? No, I noticed the DTs uh, once it started spinning away at my third base. It just took a second for me to get the overseer over there. I already had one morphing. I was, I was I was pretty sure something cheesy was coming and I hadn't seen the Oracle. So I'm like, well DTs are the next logical thing that he's gonna do. I don't think he could have 
felt that, that you could have macro me in a, in a straight up macro game. What was the thoughts going through your head when you took those two bases right after losing most of your army? Um, I had a huge amount of extra money, and here's what I what I thought. I thought he didn't have a third, and I thought all that okay. I lost my army, big deal. He still he still can't come back from this. And then I sent a small group of roaches up to the third, and he had third, and I was wrong in that. So I had those two bases, and they were already building, and, and my bank was mine. There's no reason not to just to keep it in those. Um, it, was, it was a macro mistake on my fault, uh, on my part. And, uh, that was a very entertaining series, and uh, now you're going to end up dropping into the loser's bracket. Yes. What do you... What do you hope to come up against, and what do you dread coming up against? Um, I'm pretty comfortable with all the races. So ZDZ is probably my best, um, simply because it's pretty simple. Kill Banes, or uh, Lings and Banes, and Mutalisks, and you don't stop. So is that, I'm going to stop you right there because this is interesting. So is it Ling Bane Muta all day, all the time in ZVZ right now? Um, or some kind of uh, cleverly devised all in to prevent Mutalisks. Um, so there's across the spectrum of watch in the pro games um, right now. It's it's either that all in or it's um, It's a macro game of some sort uh, into, into new devices. Pretty much you just get a, get bases faster and get you know, it, it kind of surprisingly comes down not to mutilis necessarily um, A lot of times it comes down to the amount of wings you have because you can overrun them. Wings, wings are king, baby. Yeah, yeah, you can you know and, and, and um, what really shows in the really good players and the regular players is that everybody can build new lists, but not everybody can keep their macro high enough while controlling all those things to build a huge army of things. And um, that's that's the big thing. So ZVZ is fine. Um, ZVT, I have a couple of interesting builds on ZVT. Um, I'm pretty confident that they'll, they'll work out. Um, so what do you absolutely want to not come up against? You guys. Okay. Um, what do I not want to come up against? Um, Top eight turn. <laughs> uh, All right, top well, eight Protoss. We appreciate you coming to chat with us. Yep. It's a great game. We look forward to seeing you in the loser yep. bracket. Congratulations to ACDC. He played great. Um, and hopefully I'll come up close to him again. Sounds great. Thanks, man. Thanks appreciate a lot. Appreciate it. That was Spider Slayer coming to have a chat with us. Now I think we've got ACDC.